Penang Hokkien, traditional Chinese, Bin Sheng Fujian Wa simplified Chinese, Bin Sheng Fujian Wa Tai Lo, Pin Cn Hok Kian Ua, Pei Hog, Pin C A circumflex to the power of N Hok Kian Oa is a local variant of Hokkien spoken in Penang, Malaysia. It is the lingua franca among the majority Chinese population in Penang, as well as the neighboring states of Kedah, Perlis, and northern part of Perak. This Chinese dialect is spoken as a mother tongue by up to 63.9% of Penang's Chinese community. It is also spoken by some members of Penang's Indian and Malay communities. Penang Hokkien is a subdialect of Zhangzhou, Zhangzhou Hokkien, Changchu, Chinese, together with widespread use of Malay and English loan words. It is said that it most closely resembles that spoken in the district of Haking, Hai Kang and Longhai, Longhai Hokkien, Leonghai County and in the districts of Jiaomei, Jiaomei and Xinglin, Xinglin in neighboring Xiamen Prefecture. In Southeast Asia, similar dialects are spoken in the states bordering Penang, Kita, Perlis and Northern Perak, as well as in Maidan and North Sumatra, Indonesia. It is markedly distinct from Southern Peninsular Malaysian Hokkien and Taiwanese Hokkien. Orthography Penang Hokkien is largely a spoken language, it is rarely written in Chinese characters, and there is no official standard romanization. In recent years, there has been a growing body of romanized Penang Hokkien material, however topics are mostly limited to the language itself such as dictionaries and learning materials. This is linked to efforts to preserve, revitalize and promote the language as part of Penang's cultural heritage, due to increasing awareness of the loss of Penang Hokkien usage among younger generations in favor of Mandarin and English. The standard romanization systems commonly used in these materials are based on Tai Lo and Pei, Hog, Poj, with varying modifications to suit Penang Hokkien phonology. The Hokkien Language Association of Penang, Persatuan Bahasa Hokkien Pulau Penang, by Neng Fu Jian Wa Zai Wei is one such organization which promotes the language's usage and revitalization. Through their Speak Hokkien campaign they promote a Tai Lo-based system modified to suit the phonology of Penang Hokkien and its loanwords, as well as the use of traditional Chinese characters derived from recommended character lists for written Hokkien published by Taiwan. S. Ministry of Education. Most native speakers are not aware of these standardized systems and resort to ad hoc methods of romanization based on English, Malay, and Pinyin spelling rules, e.g., Char Kui Tiao, Chao Guo Tiao, Cha Q Tiao. These methods, which are more intuitive to the average native speaker, are the basis of non standard romanization systems used in some written material. Phonology Consonants Unlike other dialects of Hokkien, coronal affricates and fricatives remain the same and do not become alveolopalatal before i, e, g, she, c. Vowels In the Tai Lo system for Penang Hokkien, vowels are nasalized using final nn, while poj uses superscript to the power of n. For most speakers who are not aware of the standard romanization, nasalization is commonly indicated by putting an N after the initial consonant of a word. This is commonly seen for the popular Penang delicacy Tau Sar Pneah Do Sha Bing Tau Sa Pian. In other instances, nasalization may not be indicated in the spelling of a word such as in the common last name Ui, Huang Yuan. The nasalized vowel UNN is only found as part of yan, it does not exist in Hokkien as a final or in isolation, the rhyme yan is a variant pronunciation of ion. The two may be used interchangeably in Penang Hokkien, e.g. Jiang Tian, Tian, Yang Yan, Ion. When ia is followed by final n or t, it is pronounced i, with ian and iat being pronounced as in, and it, respectively, in speech, these sounds are often reduced to n, and t, e.g. mian mian per meter n. Io is a variant of Io which is only found with the initial N, e.g. Niang Niu. Tones in Penang Hokkien, the two departing tones, third and seventh, are virtually identical, and may not be distinguished except in their sandy forms. Most native speakers of Penang Hokkien are therefore only aware of four tones in unchecked syllables, high, low, rising, high falling, and two entering tones, high and low, in checked syllables. In most systems of romanization, this is accounted as seven tones altogether. 
The tones are, the names of the tones no longer bear any relation to the tone contours. The upper, rising, second tone has two variants in Penang Hokkien, a high falling tone, 53, and a high rising tone, 45. The high falling tone, 53, is more common among the older generations while in the younger generations there has been a shift towards the use of the high rising tone, 45. When the third tone is sandied to the second tone, the high falling variant, 53, is used, however some speakers may sandy the third tone to the first tone, 44. As in Amoy and Zhangzhou, there is no lower rising, sixth tone. Tone sandy like in other Minan dialects, the tone of a syllable in Penang Hokkien depends on where in a phrase or sentence the relevant syllable is placed. For example, the word niu gu in isolation is pronounced with an ascending tone, 23, but when it combines with a following syllable, as in niu ru gu ba, it is pronounced with to a low level tone, 21. The rules which apply when a syllable is placed in front of a connected syllable in standard minin, simply put, are as follows, first becomes seventh, seventh becomes third, third becomes second, often sounds like first in Penang Hokkien, second becomes first, fifth becomes seven check syllables, h, fourth becomes second, often sounds like first in Penang Hokkien, eighth becomes three rd check syllables, p, t, k. Fourth becomes eighth, eighth becomes fourth, although the two departing tones, third and seventh, are virtually identical in Penang Hokkien, in their sandy forms they become 54 and 21 and are thus easily distinguishable. The tone wheel concept does not work perfectly for all speakers of Penang Hokkien. Minan and Mandarin tones There is a reasonably reliable correspondence between Hokkien and Mandarin tones, upper level. Hokkien first tone equals Mandarin first tone, e.g. gk, g. Lower level, Hokkien fifth tone equals Mandarin second tone, e.g. long leng, long. Rising, Hokkien second tone equals Mandarin third tone, e.g. ma bei per meter a. Departing, Hokkien third, seventh tones equals Mandarin fourth tone, e.g. tu though tu, shang qian, shang. Words with entering tones all end with p, t, k or h, glottal stop. As Mandarin no longer has any entering tones, there is no simple corresponding relationship for the Hokkien fourth and eighth tones, e.g. guo kok guo, but fa wat fa. The tone in Mandarin often depends on what the initial consonant of the syllable is, see the article on entering tones for details. Literary and colloquial pronunciations Hokkien has not been taught in schools in Penang since the establishment of the Republic of China in 1911, when Mandarin was made the Chinese national language. As such, few if any people have received any formal instruction in Hokkien, and it is not used for literary purposes. However, as in other variants of Min Nan, most words have both literary and colloquial pronunciations, and the literary pronunciations still appear in limited circumstances, e.g., in given names, but generally not surnames, e.g. In an rather than Yuan, Yu Gio, K rather than G E, K. In a few surnames, e.g. ye e of p rather than hio, h. In other proper names, e.g. longshan tang liang san tong rather than leng suan tn, g. In certain set phrases, e.g. cha bu duo tsha put to rather than tshim, tu, gn shao qian xiao rather than kin sha unlike in Taiwan and mainland China, the literary pronunciations of numbers higher than two are not used when giving telephone numbers, etc., e.g. er wu si ji gu si instead of ji na gu su. Literary variants are generally eschewed in favor of colloquial pronunciations, e.g. da ze tua o, h instead of tai ha k. Differences from standard Minan Most of the differences between Penang Hokkien and Amoy Hokkien exist also in Zhangzhou, e.g. The use of uinn where Amoy has ing, e.g. men muin, fan puin, suan suin, etc. The use of e and enn where Amoy has e and in, e.g. ja ki, sha he, sheng sen. The use of U where Amoy has E and vice versa, e.g. Huo Hawe, Wei Bu, Dite, Shi Sei. The use of Ua where Amoy has U, e.g. Wa Ua, Wa Wa, Gua Kua. The use of Ion, also pronounced Yan, where Amoy has I U N N, e.g. Yang Ion, Zhang Tian, Shang Sion. The mix of Eong and Ion in some words where Amoy has Ion, e.g. Shang Siang, Shang Hang. 
The use of J in some words where Amoy has L, e.g. Ru Jeet P, Ri Jua H, Ri Jeet T. The use of Zhangzhou pronunciations such as Mi Mui, Amoy, B, Xian Sheng Sin Sen, Amoy, Shan Xin, etc. The use of Zhangzhou expressions such as Diao Zhang Dao Qiang, Amoy, Tang Shi Thngc. Differences from the Zhangzhou dialect Although Penang Hokkien is based on the Zhangzhou dialect, there are some obvious differences, which in many cases result from the influence of other Minan dialects, e.g. The lower entering eighth tone in Penang, which is pronounced high for, as in Amoy and many other parts of Fujian, whereas in most Zhangzhou dialects it is low with a slight lilt 12. The use of U in some words such as Ru Lu, Zhu Tu, Yu Hu, etc., where Zhang Zhao has Li, T and Hai. This is a characteristic of dialects in other parts of Zhang Zhao and Xiamen prefectures. The use of Yan instead of the Zhang Zhao Ion, e.g. Yang Yan, Zhang Tian, Shang Xian. The adoption of pronunciations from Teochu, e.g. Wo Wa, Zhang Zhao, Gua, Wo Nong Wang, Ru Nong Luang, Yi Nong Eong, Zhang Zhao and Amoy, Ruan Gun, Guan, Nen Lin, Ren Yin In. The adoption of Amoy and Chenzhou pronunciations like Dai Shi Fein Se, Zhang Zhao, Bai, Fein Si, Bai Pa, Zhang Zhao, P, etc. Loanwords Due to Penang's rich linguistic and ethnic diversity, Penang Hokkien is in close contact with many other languages and dialects which are drawn on heavily for loanwords. These include Malay, Teochew, Cantonese and English. Malay Like other dialects in Malaysia and Singapore, Penang Hokkien borrows heavily from Malay, but sometimes to a greater extent than other Hokkien dialects, e.g. Almari, wardrobe, probably originally from Portuguese. Anting, earring. Balai, police station. Balu, baru, new, li, just now. Banku, stool, probably originally from Portuguese. Batu, stone. Berlian, diamond. Binatang, animal. Bunting, pregnant Salaka, Salaka, damn it Champur, to mix, usable in conjunction with BEI is in BEI Champur Jamban, toilet Gatai, gottle, itchy Jelly, creepy, hair raising Kawin, Kawin, Mary Kijan, Kijan, pity Lampin, nappy, diaper. Lodi, roti, bread, via Malay from Sanskrit. Makam, makam, what fuss? Mana, as if, since when? Also to be found in Teochu with the same meaning. Manic, bead. Mata, police, from Malay mata mata, also present in Teochu. Pasar, market, originally from the word bazaar. Pingong, waste. Pulik, bolster. Pun, also. Rasa, to feel. Sabun, soap, via Malay from Portuguese, also present in Taiwanese. Sampa, garbage. Saying, to love, what a pity, waste. Sambong, snobbish. Suka, to like via Malay from Sanskrit. Tapi, but. Talong, help. Tongkat, walking stick. Tuala, towel, via Malay from Portuguese. There are also many Hokkien words which have been borrowed into Malay, sometimes with slightly different meanings, e.g. Beka, trisha, originally ma che be ti shia. Horse cart. Bihan, mi fen bai hun. Rice vermicelli. Jepan, ri ben jeet ti pun. Japan. Loading, attic, originally lu ding lao taing. 
Upstairs Kaikap sauce, originally Gui Gktsiap. Fish sauce. Kongzi, to share, originally Gong Si Kong Si. Company Firm Clan Association. Kwachi, Gua Zkuac. Edible watermelon seeds. Kutiao, Guo Tiao Kue Tiao. Flat rice noodle. Kuih, Guo Kue. Rice flour cake. Mi, Mi and Mi, noodles. Sinsa, Xian Sheng Sin Sen, literally translates to Mr. Commonly refers to a traditional Chinese doctor. Taohu, Do Fu Taohu. Tofu. Talk to Jia Thao Ki. Boss. Teh, Cha Ti. T. Tiko, Cha Gu Ti Ku. Teapot. Tianghua, Zhang Hua Tiang Hua. China, Chinese. Tukong, Chu Gong Tu Kong. Craftsman. English. Penang Hokkien has also borrowed some words from English, some of which may have been borrowed via Malay, but these tend to be more technical and less well embedded than the Malay words, e.g. Break, park, pipe, pump, etc. Entertainment In recent years, a number of movies that incorporate the use of Penang Hokkien have been filmed, as part of wider efforts to preserve the dialect's relevance. Among the more recent movies are The Journey, which became the highest grossing Malaysian film in 2014, and You Mean the World to Me, the first movie to be filmed entirely in Penang Hokkien. See also Taiwanese Hokkien Singlish Southern Malaysia Hokkien Singaporean Hokkien Maidan Hokkien Lan Nong, Philippine variant of Min Nan Place and street names of Penang Written Hokkien Speak Hokkien Campaign Penang Hokkien Podcast Further reading Douglas, The Rev. Carstairs, 1899-1873 Chinese English Dictionary of the Vernacular or Spoken Language of Amoy, with the principal variations of the Chang Chu and Chin Chu dialects, second corrected ed. London, Publishing Office of the Presbyterian Church of England. ISBN 1-86210-068-3, bound with Barclay, The Rev. Thomas, 1923. Supplement to Dictionary of the Vernacular or Spoken Language of Amoy. Shanghai, Commercial Press Limited. De Gijzel, Luke. 2009. English Penang Hokkien Pocket Dictionary. Georgetown, Penang, Arika Books. ISBN 978 983 44646 0 8. References <laughs>